So now, recently, I, uh, you know, somewhat recently, I made a video with this circuit. We're powering it with uh, 5 volts right there. So, not going to go over the details of the uh, circuit all that much. Uh, main thing is, right there, we got a transistor. We wired it as a switch. There's a little bit more to it. But we give a signal to the transistor right there, closing that switch. It turns on uh, pretty much instantly, mostly because of that low value of that resistor. We also charge this capacitor, uh, you know, uh, somewhat close to instantly we have to in order to get the transistor to turn on instantly now you can see the capacitor is uh, discharging through a 10k resistor right there and um, therefore we got a fade off and now someone asked what if we want to also fade on so that's all we're going to really do again that was a 100 ohm resistor we don't really need it we can short this but it's uh, you know kind of a lot of uh, current for an extremely brief period of time so may not be uh, good. That's why I use that 100 ohm resistor. And I purposely used a value low enough where um, it shouldn't really affect the charge time. Obviously it does, um, but as long as you don't really notice it, um, then it doesn't really matter because that's all this is, uh, basically what we can observe. So I thought uh, 10K resistor, that will get us up to about 2.5 volts when it comes to uh, what the capacitor charges, you know, approximate uh, right there. Uh, you know, plenty to get the transistor. Uh, looks like to still turn on fully and um, the transistor should have faded turning on a little bit um, but there you can see definitely still we have uh, I don't know what I what I did there um, we got some weird connection going on um, definitely still like faded on extremely quickly so I believe that was a fade but uh, not not a huge uh, fade so we're gonna plug that and then try a 15 thousand ohm uh, resistor right there and I don't know why I must got some weird weird connection thing going on so we started with a hundred and I don't really use a lot of hundred ohm resistors but sometimes I use a number of them in parallel right there to get a fair amount of uh, current and then uh, then we tried the 10k uh, resistor now we're gonna try 15k resistor right there I got it on the board and um, again you know this is getting the uh, voltage divider effect there you know probably somewhere like two volts or whatever um so it's going to start fading sooner but there you can see still a slow fade off but uh you know a somewhat quick fade on right there definitely looks like a fade but uh not uh very dramatic at all it's like a rapid rapidly rising fade not a slowly coming on fade uh, anywhere near especially it turning off so there we go um I shouldn't hold that that long. Our demonstration's already over uh, for the fade on. There again, very slow fade off. And, you know, slower fade on right there. So that was 22K. And um, so yeah, I really thought that would finally be the, the last one I would have to do. But again, that was fading on relatively quickly. And uh, so we will uh, try 33K right there. And the fade off. 33,000 ohm resistor right there. And there you can see, I don't use very many of them. Um, we'll uh, turn on. And there, that was, you know, a somewhat slow fade. So again, we could go higher value in resistance. But uh, yeah, I think, I think that's a good enough fade right there. Now, we'll come to the fade off. So that's with a 10K resistor. And I figured a 5, uh, was it 5K that I did? Um, yeah. I think I tried 5k and that was even too slow so what I got here is 3k so when it came to the fade on we just increased the resistance uh, for the charging of the capacitor right there and also you know going through there we got less voltage to work with the capacitor won't get to as high as voltage and it will take longer um, to get to whatever voltage it gets to so we're gonna swap the 10k resistor that is uh, right there and put a 3k resistor again we can go lower in value in order to uh, speed up the fade down if we want highly adjustable but there we go we got you know somewhat slow fade on and now um, closer to the same amount of time for the fade off it's you know taking longer to fade off but not you know by extremely long amount of time Right there so again we could go higher in value in here and we'll probably find the right match right there and um, you know but you saw the basics I went from 100 
all the way up to uh, 33,000. I mean, yeah, 33,000 right there. So a whole lot more resistance. And the fade is still, you know, relatively quick. I'm kind of surprised uh, right there. So, you know, that's just what you do with these circuits. If you're interested in adjusting them, often it's the resistor values, maybe even the capacitor values that uh, you adjust. Here we have the NPN bipolar junction transistor. We're protecting the red LED from 5 volts, so a 220 ohm resistor. We are pretty set on what we need over here, and we need enough base to emitter current to turn it on fully when we want it on fully. Here we added a fade on and a fade off, but this should be pretty much on fully. We got about uh, 12 milliamps of current uh, flowing through this circuit right now. We can just take the 10K resistor. This should also turn it on uh, completely. And um, there you can see, looks like it may be a, a spec higher right there. Maybe we weren't turning it on 100%, but you know, pretty, pretty close when it comes to uh, lighting the LED. So I'm gonna put the 10K resistor uh, back right there. So we'll get a slower fade off right there. But in case, again, this video, pretty simple. So like I didn't rapidly swap out the resistors and, and then edit that out or whatever. Um, I went over this circuit in detail right there. So this was just gonna be kind of a slower uh, pace video, just to look at uh, modifying the circuit. And it's also easier to pay attention to the modifications if you aren't doing a rapid uh, fire editing and stuff. So in any case, uh, hope you enjoyed. Make sure you uh, check out one of the other videos I'm posting on the screen and check out the links down below. They all help out a lot. I'll see you in the next video.